Here in the town of Sinchar, at the base of Sinchar Mountain, the town is still empty today. At one time, there were 100,000 people here and probably 100,000 other Yazidis living nearby. But there were also three churches, one of them behind me. Now, this is a sad place to visit. People have said to me back in North America, well, people can just move home. But if you see the houses that are left in this town, there really isn't anything to go back to. Uh, and part of that is just because of forcing ISIS out. Uh, uh, airstrikes would just flatten these old houses and cause the houses to just collapse and crumble. And, uh, and some of the times the bombing runs were when ISIS uh, headquarters or clusters of ISIS fighters would be located, the fighter bombers uh, would come in. Probably the most tragic thing is all around this town there would be mass graves. Uh, and I'm talk talking like mass graves in World War II. The one that I was just at is the smallest one. Seventy men were shot and their bodies were left for the wild animals to feed. We're not showing you close-ups. I've been to German concentration camps in my life, but I've never seen anything like this. It's the largest collection of human bones that I've ever seen. So we just stood around and our team held hands and we prayed. And we prayed as an outcome of this war and the evil of ISIS, that the spirit of the living God, which is already on the move in the Middle East, even here, would work even more to bring evil people to freedom from Satan and to find their faith and their life in Jesus Christ.